Welcome back to episode 7 of Castlevania Curse of Darkness, where we are going to be journeying onto the Enemaeus Machine Tower. But before we do that, we need to do some backtracking. I have returned here to this point in the abandoned castle. It's taken me about half an hour just to get here. It's been a pain in the ass, I really should have stayed left this till later in the game. But we can now get behind here with a time stop. So. I, think, I hope we can anyway. Or maybe you need to. Yeah, you need to let it run for a bit first. Smash up a few. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm just trapped in the middle now. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. And I hope it's more than just the potion back here. We need the fairy now. Is it going to be worth it? This half an hour journey. I mean, we already had the map unlocked, but. Go on. Be something incredibly good. It's. What a waste of everyone's time. Let's continue. So I think there's still this is still essentially called Overtown at the moment. Because Enemaeus Machine Tower has one of I think my favourite theme in the whole game. I'm not a huge fan of called Overtown's one in general, but Enemaeus Machine Tower makes up for it. And I've decided how I'm gonna evolve this guy already. I basically want to get to that room in the Belljack Mountains that have the red skeletons in. And to do that you need a Nautilus rod. Because they learn Purify, and that's how you beat them. So I need red crystals first, but I cannot actually be fucked to kill these guys, so let's just crack on. Right, so here's the first room, and it's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I've missed it that time. I think this confused me, like, beyond anything as a kid. I think I actually need to go back out and in again. I think as a kid, I, like... This is before perhaps I had the internet so I just didn't know how to google anything you need to use time stop basically and there we go stop the candles moving and now we can get to the door I'm not sure how long this lasts I don't think there's like a time stop plus yeah we're making it there no problem and now yes The theme for this is so good. It's so good. I was going to say, I don't think there's a time stop plus or anything, so I think this is the only time stop we get, but it is quite useful. Oh, I stopped the music already! Wow! <laughs> so annoying. At least we get the classic locked in a room rock music. Yeah, he's getting destroyed. I did notice that while I was going to the abandoned castle that this guy takes a lot of damage. It's not like the fairy type where it just flies away. This feels like a room that would have secrets. I can't see any, but I'm not looking particularly old. We keep the music this time, it's good. Orcs. anything that flies where you have to jump up and do it. God, he's taking so much damage, he's not going to survive very long here. At least he's levelling up very quickly. Oh, is that a new thing? Carbon steel. No, I think we've got plenty of that. This place does have Damascus steel though, which we need lots of. And I can't remember if it's a drop or it's a steal. But I can't be bothered for these orcs anymore. I mean, they die in a couple of hits, but they're annoying. <laughs> like that. Lightning strike, lovely. We will take that. That'll do, I can't be asked to finish him off. Right, this is the place where we need time stop again. So where is the thingy? I think this place baffled me as a kid as well. There's the stairs. Oh, 
and you get three seconds, but time stop. Beautiful. We shouldn't need a second one. It costs 40 MP as well, which is a hell of a lot. And there we go. Smash this up and we continue on into the tower itself. Bloody rock music. Like, <laughs> nine times out of ten, I love this stuff, but not in the Animalist Machine Tower when it interrupts the good music. Oh, just for that, really? What a waste. Alright, I think we're in the tower now. We are indeed. Beautiful. Right, this place has a lot of secrets, if I remember correctly. Lots of, like, smashable walls that you don't normally notice. This piano bit is just... Right, it's this guy. This guy drops Dramascus still. Oh, it might be a... I think it's a still rather than a drop. And it's... It's when he does the slam after that one. And he doesn't always do it. Right, I need to get him out of there because he's taking way too much damage. Uh, let's just stick with the furry for now. Just want that still. I'm glad he had Yeah, it's after that attack. Yeah, he, he does a slam after that spin. But he doesn't always do it, obviously. Oh, don't do that! Oh, that might ruin everything now, to be honest. He's not using it at all. I know it's something. I don't know what it is. I think it's the mask is still drop, and then something else is a steal. Oh dear. I'm probably not going to get it first time when he does it initially as well. It'll take a bit of practice. It's just not doing it. Do I need to be further away? Oh, that's so tight. How are you meant to get that? That's so small, that window. You must have to... I don't think you have to jump, but... Alright, I want it. I'm not giving up. I'm going to be ready when he does it. Yes! There we go. We got it. The mask is still... Right, I have no idea what this is. Actually, let's have a look now. Sword, yeah. I, sword is definitely something you want to make. I, yeah, it's got to be that one. Damascus Sword, there we go. Right, and the last one is... I presume that's an upgrade to the Aether as well. I presume that's an upgrade to the Fencing Sword. Is there anything else? No, okay. But yeah, that's definitely something we want. I'm not going <laughs> to do that again with this guy, but the next guy we find, I'm going to steal from him again. Right. Oh, okay, yep, there's another one. <laughs> I'm going to do it again now. Make this other sword. Now. Of course he does it when I'm not ready. Now let's do it again. On that second sword. Yes, there we go. Second bit done. So we can now make this one, which is... I hope this isn't upgraded, not a meme weapon. Kalishamod? <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that, but it looks good. I presume that's fencing sword still? Yes, it is, and it looks even better than the previous one. Right, I think we should be done now. Yeah, okay, right. Two different ways to go. I'm going to take a hunch that right is the correct way, so I'm going to go up and try and unlock some more secrets. I'm going the right way. No. Oh. I hope it doesn't knock me in again. Okay, good. Right, and it goes, let's re-summon Gordon. But he's close to death already. Oh, I'm not even going to bother with these guys. Can't be bothered. Fire giants. Flame demons. I don't think these guys have got noteworthy still. Obviously, we killed loads of them around the Forest of Juggermont at the entrance to the Tower of Eternity. Which I've now found out it's cool. Right, there's the map. 
Okay, in that case, I want to go back down the look at the save point later. So it looks like this way is. Oh, no. That oh, was the right, wasn't it? Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> I don't, my brain is not working. I can barely see what the right way and what the wrong way is. I want to go back and do this secret room first. Bonus room, even. Love this theme so much. That's easily my favourite of the whole game, I think. I can barely tell what instrument it is, to be honest. Like, generally, I'm pretty good with that kind of stuff. But... Right, I'm gonna lock onto one of them and go for the steel if it looks like. I'm probably gonna die so quickly. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. No, I'm not gonna do it, actually. Oh god, there's another one. I'll have one. Mm. No, I won't bother. One hit away anyway. I don't know what else Damascus Steel is used for, although I presume you need a few of them. Like, to make the laser blade, you need one of every of the first ten swords, I think. But a lot of them are dependent on each other. So while you only need one Damascus sword, you probably need another one for what like comes after the Damascus sword, what the swords use to make. God, there's loads of them. Ouch. The jumping enemies aren't too bad now that we've got decent weapons. I to kill so many of these guys in the Forest of Juggernaut. Right, you can attack now. Lovely. Just, uh, I mean, every room in here looks like a bonus room with a, like, a destroyable thing. Oh, okay, I'll come round. Right, that's alright. I'll come round in a circle. So, at least we've got some extra map filled up. Let's just crack straight on. I love the sound that guy makes as well. The mage ID. Sheesh, save room, we will stop there. I mean, we're yet to be defeated in the main game. Like, I don't usually, I'm sure I have by now in my normal playthroughs. I mean, it's been years since i played this properly, but... I'm sure I generally have a couple of deaths here and there, where I just make silly mistakes and... don't bother to send out the fairy type to do a bit of healing. Right way, yep. I remember the lift in... Oh, hello. Undead Lord. This must have a new drop. Red Steel, yes! New things, please! More new things. Gano, that's going to be another short sword. Got a decent bit of bronze left. I don't even know what it is, I don't care, I just want it. <laughs> Zagnol. I think that's quite a good weapon to be honest, that's a fast one. Alright, more red steel please. Ouch. Oh, they hit hard. Lovely, two more. And I think we can probably make some new armor with those two. Any more? No. Oh, that so looks like a bonus room over that way, but it's not. Right, armor first. It's the sensible way of doing things. Field armor, that's almost definitely an upgrade. Anything else? No. I think that was quite a big upgrade, wasn't it? I didn't actually look at the numbers, but that looks quite good. Yes, more of these, please. Ouch. Well, I don't know how to steal from these guys, to be honest. Like, I mean, if it's got a good steal, I probably know about it because I remember it from youth. Where is it? He must be up really high. <laughs> oh, there he is. Well beyond me. Have we missed any map? No, we're all good. I mean, there's definitely 100% there's some smashable walls and stuff here. Oh. No. I just want to attack everything. I'm sure there's, there's definitely some bonus rooms around here. More of these guys, it's good. And we'll steal though. Right, this is... I remember this room. 
Almost too well. Yep. And I think it's for the Fleeman. This is such like a classic Castlevania scene. Like, oh, it's this guy. Could be worse. Like, classic Castlevania is like a room like this, like a mechanical clock tower type thing, with this kind of exact music. Lots of zombie type enemies. I'm waiting for him. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be attacked any second. Now. I might be on that. We there? This must be it. Yep, okay. I was expecting an attack, it didn't come. Maybe there's another lift somewhere. I'm not sure. Yes, please, more of these. There's another one. Right, I think the next time we go for an upgrade, I want to start using the spear, because we've not used them at all for the whole game. I've not used any spears or specials yet. Right, what we make? The knuckle or. Oh, it's got a helmet. Helmets. I think that's probably an upgrade. Yep, I need a little one. And another one. And I think that's pretty much it. Mine shelf is. Ah, that's annoying me now. I don't know where to get some tears. Seems there might be the fire demon. Might be. Not very sure. Oh, I remember these guys. Harpies. Oh dear, yep. That's why I remember him, that grab attack. I remember this place so well. I mean, this is easily my favourite of the... Of all the, I think, ten different places in total? Sounds about right, but... Yeah, just the... Lovely red slip. Oh dear, it's got me again. And that finisher. Oh. I seem to remember him, like, smashing you into the floor. Apparently not. Can we make... Actually, I, I don't know how to make the... Um, Chow of Sorrows, the final spear. It doesn't look like we can yet. But we haven't had a spear upgrade in a while. Right, it's Harpy's end. Yeah, I don't like this room already. I can't remember if Harpy's have good steel or not, because I'm sure I've tried to get it before. There we go. It took me a while. I'm sure it involves a perfect guard somewhere. Ouch. There we go. I want another ether as well. <laughs> He's taking too long. Can't be bothered. like we're pretty much done making everything with red steel for now. There will never to be the items later on. Alright, we're locked in. I'm pretty sure that's a warp room up there. So I remember this place quite well. Still presents itself, we'll go for it. Get in. Oh, that is big damage. I haven't actually used that yet. Right, let's go in here just for the sake of unlocking it. I don't think we really need to go back to Julia's shop. We're all good. We haven't got many Evo crystals since we've been here, though. Oh, is this another? Right, this is the one with the um, Fleeman, I'm sure of it. Because I remember him so well. 
to not. Oh god, yeah, yes it is. <laughs> ah, shit. Death Ripper, yeah, I think these are the harder versions of the Fleeman. I'm just going to start attacking. And <laughs> try and use some AoEs. I mean, they don't have a lot of health, which is good. Oh god. Oh, Christ. These are like... I mean, other than the assassin zombies in the previous episode from Port Overtown and the Forest, I think. These guys are like the things of nightmares. Just like tiny little things with swords. Just like horrendous. But Castlevania is very good for its horror in general. And these guys are particularly good at that. <laughs> I'm just getting the hell out of here. I can't be asked to kill them. Terrifying little bastards. Locked in. What's it going to be? Harpies and Gladiator. Right, I think I want to get this Gladiator still again. But I want to get the Harpies out of here first. Oh, I got it. Lovely. Didn't expect to get it that easy. Ouch. Oh, God. Yeah, this this doesn't make it easy, this particular combination of enemies. Right, he's gone. Oh dear, too slow. Oh, I hate how annoying these guys are. Oh, actually. Yep. <laughs> that makes things a lot easier. Right, they are both dead, weirdly. Just watch them die now. Beautiful. Oh, what one's still alive? What the fuck? <laughs> Cheating. Hacking. Right, I'll look around. It doesn't look like there's anything secret -ess. Right, I'll kill him, but go for the steel if it appears. I do not have a lot of health for those guys, which is handy. Oh god, there's three of them. Oh, okay, right. Um, okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's got to be... Yep. Let's go fairy, because we need a bit here then. They both did it, that's fine. There's too many of it to even try now, though. Oh, God. Right, he's close, come on. Yes, nice. See, they do it when you're not wanting it, but... Oh, I can't even be bothered to get this, guys. Okay, good. Stick with the fairy for a little while, because I do want to get some... Do want to evolve this guy eventually. Oh, more of these guys. Didn't know they were here. Oh god. <laughs> I've forgotten them already. This guy just not going to do anything. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, he's clearly broken. Oh. <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, it's just too hard to do when there's too many of them. Like, it's alright when you can concentrate on one, but any more than that gets tricky. Very bad. Right, come on then. Let's make this easy. Don't go around there. Oh, there's another one. Oh. There we go. Right, I don't think we really need many of these anymore. Or any of them for that moment. There we go. And we'll take that on first. Okay. Nope, can't be bothered. Right, I remember this room, because I remember being stuck in it for ages and just completely confused. It is, is it this thing? Or is it the thing you have to jump on? Yeah, it's up here. It's weird that the fairy goes straight there. Right, I think we get the very budget PS2 animation now. It's convenient. Oh. 
Oh, that's oh, that's lucky. Oh, how lucky! Oh, I mean that is like a classic Castlevania animation, if anything. Right, can we? We can probably go. Over. Is there anything? I'm just looking for stuff in this room because we can probably fly over there with bird, but do we want to? Can't see anything, so unless it's map. No. Oh, I'm just going to crack on in that case. We can probably get over there, but I don't think there's any reason to. I'm still looking around for secrets, because I'm sure there are some in this area. More of these guys now. You know, I can't be bothered with any of them. Right, and we are, we're here already. This must be a small place then, because this is the final boss of this place. Wait, what is that? Oh, I'm going to have to go back and see what that is. Are we anywhere near a warp room? I don't think we are. Because I'm pretty sure that is the boss straight away up there. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Because yeah, this is a fun boss. And there is one thing that I do really want to get right this time. Because you have to use the um, major ID to pause time at just the right point. And I don't think I ever get it right normally. So I used to know how to do it as a kid when I did boss rush loads of times, but I'll give it a go, see where we get. I think I want to start with the bird. It'll be my best in combat at the moment, because I still haven't properly used... Oh, I've forgotten this little area. Nice little scenic ambient location just before the boss. Let's give it a go. And it is. Oh! An unexpected guest! So, Zed hasn't slain you yet? I see you were spying on us. But, I am an expert at miraculous escapes. Despite that, however, I have fallen into his trap at last. Trap? What trap? Well, the space itself is a barrier. Which leads me to question, how did you get here? On foot, there were no barriers. Interesting. Most interesting. Yes, that is quite possible. What are you saying? Well, in this space, I may be partially freed of the fess of time. Well, that means I can have a direct physical effect here. For example, I could fight you. So Here is we that go. your intent? To stop me by force? Not exactly. By fighting you, all that I need to know will be revealed. Let's go. Hector versus Saint Germain. And this theme. I fucking love. I'm going to have to be very dodgy here. Because he can... He has this weird thing where he can poison and then speed up time to just make you take constant damage. Very good move from the book. Beautiful. Right, I'm kicking his ass at the moment. But I have no idea what his steel is, now that I think of it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh god. Oh, god, still hit 50 damage. Oh, he's done it again, fuck me. Yeah, and it still hit me. You need more than double dodge to get away from that. Ouch. Right, I might have to look up what his steel is. Just in case it's something good that's missable. I love it. That's the spirit. So that's when you can take horrendous poison damage. Oh, Christ. What is that? I'm too scared to even attack now. Is the, oh, the bird's dead? Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to save Gordon. I mean, that's going to be a waste completely. Let's just go with this for now. I want to save Gordon for... Oh, fuck. Poison. Oh, God. Right, that's going to mess me up, isn't it? Yeah, that's... <laughs> There's nothing you can do there other than just hope I've got a serum and I have. Right, 
damage. There's some damage. Right, he's getting near. That's not his full life bar because he restores his health. I think to get that steal, you must have to do a time like pause when he does his time pause. Right, it's now, it's now. Um, I'm not going to get it summoned in time though. Let's just get out of there quickly. Right, I'm going to try and go for it. Because I presume it's... When he pauses time, he's open. It's going to be now. Ah, oh, it's too slow. Right, I need to have him defend because he's going to die so quickly otherwise. I'm going to be ready for it though. I don't want to hit him yet. I mean, he's not going to die when his health bar gets to that point, but I want this still. Go on, do it. It's time to advance. No way I'm attacking here. Too complicated. I've only got enough MP for two more time stops. I want to try and do one. Which means... Yeah, I want to save one because he restores his health either halfway or full, depending on whether or not you do time stop. But I want one from the steel as well. Go on, do it. He's not doing it. I don't even know what this steel is. Like, I have no memory of it. It can't be like that good because I would have remembered it if it was. But <laughs> oh, immortal fragment! I have no idea what that is at all. But I got it. I'm happy with that. Right, he is not dead, and I think you only do it after it goes to half. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe that was a complete waste. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, Gordon's gone. Right, who have I got left? I might summon him right at the end to harvest all the XP. I think that's probably got quite a good idea. Well, that's his revolver. I don't want to see that. He is just such an iconic, like he's, I mean he's not an iconic character, but he sort of should be, because he's just, like, with the revolver especially, and like, here we go, and that's the spirit, it's just, <laughs> like, he's such a good character. He's just kind of, to a certain extent, wasted, because you don't really see him much. That poison's done really well on him. Right, now let's summon battle type. Let's claim all that free XP. Oh god, what is that? Okay, that's alright. Could have been worse. Right, guard man. Oh god, I hope he doesn't die right before the end of the fight. Oh god, oh god, no! Yes, there we go. Thank you. I surrender. I promise not to interfere with you again. Very well. Like the spurden. I now see how fascinating time, or rather, fate, truly is. Let's get comfortable, because this is interesting. You? A traveler, only half here. Not allowed to speak the truth. Not allowed to act upon reality. Yet, one who knows all. That about covers it. I see. 
Not allowed to speak the truth. Please forget everything I have told you. A traveler merely passes through, touching nothing, changing nothing. But there is one thing I can tell you. What is that? I feel a new destiny flowing out of you. Walk the path that is meant for you without fear, for you are no longer alone. Give my regards to Zed when you see him. He's off. Very interesting. So I think up until this point, I think it's very fair to assume that Saint Germain was like definitely seen as the bad guy, and Zed definitely the good guy. But now we kind of. Um, I don't know what's through here actually, because it's not the next place. Oh, it's just right. In that case, let us let's go down there afterwards, because I can't remember what that is. But yeah, that now we kind of don't think Saint Germain is the bad guy, because he's just, as he says, a traveller. And that's about it, really. There's not much development to his character beyond that, unfortunately. But here we get the Devil's Light ID. That looks so sick, upscaled. Gale. Right, we need a very cool name for this one. That's quite a cool name. That's <laughs> most of my name, but... Come on, cooler. Get cooler. Valgis, yes, that is extra cool. Right, so all these guys can... do. I can't even remember if they're very good in combat, but we've just unlocked loads of new areas from getting that magic circle. So it is time to go back, I think, and go through all of the places we haven't seen already. So I'm going to leave that for the beginning of the next episode. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Peace.